As we take a live look over downtown, at one point this morning, the Motor City was among the worst in the world for air quality. Conditions have been improving throughout the day. You may not be able to tell from this shot here. However, they can still be hazardous to your health. So what does this mean for asthma sufferers and how does this impact the heart and lungs? Join us to answer those questions is our chief health editor, Dr. Parth Nandy. Dr. Nandy, what is the primary pollutant and then what's the biggest health concerns that come with it? Yeah, absolutely. So wildfire smoke, Ryan, contains super tiny particles called PM2.5 and PM2.5 are roughly 30 times smaller than one strand of human hair. That means the human eye cannot see them. So they're in the air around us and we're unknowingly breathing them in. They travel down the throat and end up penetrating deep into the lungs. So how can they affect our health, right? So while short-term health effects include coughing, sneezing, irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat, also air pollution from wildfire smoke can cause irritation and an inflammatory reaction in the lungs as well as shortness of breath. And depending on how long a person is exposed, impaired lung function could last long after the wildfires have been extinguished Plus, smoke exposure can directly affect your immune system, making you more prone to infections, and that includes COVID-19, right? So on top of that, some studies have found a link, Brian, between poor air quality and heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, and atrial fibrillation, which is an irregular heart rhythm. All right, so this is serious. Uh, are there a, or is there a particular group that should be more careful than others, and then how should we deal with this? Important question, right? So anyone, Brian, can be affected by high PM25 particles, including healthy folks. However, those most vulnerable are young kids, seniors, pregnant women, and people who are immunocompromised, whose immune systems are lower. If you have respiratory-related health conditions like asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or heart disease, you should be extra careful. If you are not, you could end up with worsening symptoms or conditions. So. How do you protect yourself from harmful air quality, right? Here's my advice. First of all, stay inside as much as you can when the air quality reaches unhealthy levels. Be sure to keep your doors and windows closed to get out polluted air. And if you have an air purifier, please make sure it's running. Also avoid cutting the lawn and outdoor exercise when it's like this. And if you have to be outside, right, consider wearing a mask to reduce your exposure. If you find yourself having chest pain, wheezing, trouble breathing, this is important be sure to seek medical attention. The bad news here is that we're entering the wildfire season, so I expect more days with un unhealthy air. So we just have to keep an eye on the fluctuating air quality levels over the summer and take precautions to stay safe. I mean, it's not like it's, an, you know, it's, you, you can't completely avoid it, so you do your best to, to accommodate that. All right. Grateful for your advice as always. Hey, my Thank pleasure. You, doctor. Of course. If you have a health question for Dr. Nandy, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.